On day one of Big Ten Media Days, Illinois head coach Tim Beckman and three of his seniors met with the media for the first time all summer, and it's really no surprise what everyone was asking them about. How have you reacted to kind of the allegations against Coach Beckman? Yeah. Beckman and his seniors knew the questions were coming, and they were ready to answer, saying an offseason of scrutiny has brought the team closer together. It's seemed to come as a benefit to our team because we've come together, and we show up every day ready to go. This football team, are a band of brothers. Uh, we're, we're, they're, they're, they're our sons, and we're excited, as I mentioned before, to get started on the fifth. When it came time to talk about football, there was plenty of good stuff to talk about. The team's coming off their best season in four years, and players say momentum is on their side as they get ready for Camp Rantoul. This past season was a huge confidence booster, and I think it did nothing but good for us. And, uh, just want to build off of what we uh, did last year like we did the year before. Well, our goal is to win the Big Ten West, and. Uh, with uh, no clear favorite here, we think we have a good shot to do so, and uh, we're holding each other to this standard all winter and uh, spring and summer, and now uh, it's time to go show it on the field. The national champions were in the house, and like Beckman, Urban Meyer spent a good portion of the day talking about off the field issues. The school announced this morning that four players were suspended for violating team policy, including defensive superstar Joey Bosa. And I knew this was coming for a while, and, and at some point we're going to have to address it, and we did. And we're, we're, the good thing is we have three prayers here, and actually had a little chat with them on the plane about it, and, and we're going, and going as hard as we possibly can. The Buckeyes are ranked number one in the USA Today preseason poll, and they're the heavy favorite to win the Big Ten. Meyer says his team is handling the pressure very well. The indicators that you look for first are academics and academics. We had the highest GPA or highest graduation rate in the history of Ohio State football. You know, I don't want to just buzz right over that. So that's one indicator that our guys are locked in. Wisconsin's Paul Chris, the first of three new head coaches to make their debut. Jim Harbaugh will be here Friday, which should make for an interesting afternoon in downtown Chicago. Reporting from Big Ten Media Days, I'm Noah Newman for WAND Sports.